Thank you very much for joining me, Jonathan. How are you doing? I'm doing very well, mate, especially after that little 3-1 win there. Yeah, congratulations on that. First question up is, uh, when you, while you were growing up, who, would you, who was... Uh, what footballers were you looking up to and why? Uh, well, some of my favourite players growing up was Brian Robson, uh, Eric Cantona, and probably, I'd say, um, people like Lee Sharp, who used to play for Manchester United, and... Mm. Um, Somebody I looked up to playing for England was Paul Gascoigne, obviously one of the greatest players mm. to ever come through um, as an Englishman. You know, he's somebody I aspired to to play like and to uh, to play against. And I was very fortunate to play against him for Middlesbrough, actually against mm. uh, Everton when Paul Gascoigne was at Everton in the quarterfinal of the FA Cup. So that was a little dream come true, come for me. Yeah, and of course, you mentioned all of Man U players, but of course, you played a few times for Man U. What was that like when you made your debut? Yeah, it was brilliant. Um, I made my debut against Berry um, in the um, the old uh, Wimbledon Cup, or Wimbledon, uh, what was it called? Capital Cup, I don't even know what it was called. One Capital of One Cup. Cup. Yeah, um, years ago, back in 98, I think it was, 99. Mm. And um, yeah, played Berry at home, um, started the game up front with Oligon Solskjaer and we won the game. So uh, yeah, I was delighted to make my debut for United. Obviously, only played. 34 times for Manchester United in three years, but uh, then ended up going to Middlesbrough. So, um, yeah, um, you know, I was very fortunate. It's, it's most, more than most players I've been able to for even more longer than three, three years, really, though, isn't it? Yeah, so. but I mean, yeah, it's, it's one of those, you know, I was at York City, at a, you know, a smaller club and got the chance to go there. And I supported United as a kid, so I was delighted to, to join them. Um, I wanted to play more games, but after three years and only making 34 appearances um, and decided to move on and ended up going to Middlesbrough which I had three great years in Middlesbrough as well playing 108 times for them so um, you mm. know um, and then it carried on after that. What would you say was the greatest achievement during your career? Um, well probably, probably I'd say winning the treble with Manchester United in 99 you know the Champions League, Premier League and FA Cup and then you know the other two years I was there won the Premier League as well so um, that was brilliant and then Obviously, being part of the Carling Cup final squad, um, you know, for Middlesbrough against Bolton. Um, I've had some really good highs, to be fair, you know, um, winning the Championship with West Brom and getting mm. to the Europa League final with Fulham as well. So, um, you know, lots of highs and obviously lots of lows as well because I've been relegated twice. So, yeah, lots of ups and downs. What was it like reaching that Europa League semi final with Fulham? Uh, we got to the final. We lost it in the final against Atletico Madrid in extra time. So, uh, yeah, we did really well. Uh, Roy Hodgson was the manager and we had a really good squad, mm. good lads and uh, you know a little club like Fulham getting to the Europa League final was a big big thing for us. Played, you've all played throughout your career with loads of top players, who would you say was the best three players you've played alongside? Oh, that's a tough one, uh, best three players I've played against. No, alongside? Alongside, alongside yeah. I'd probably have to go Paul Scholes, Ryan Giggs and probably Janino um, against... Probably Paul Scholes, <laughs> uh, Thierry Henry uh, was very good. Mm. Um, well, Patrick Vieira was very good. Yeah, so, yeah. There's there's too there's too many to mention really. You know, I played against some unbelievable players. You know, Flander Torres. Mm. You know, um, Steven Gerrard, Frank Lampard. Mm. You know, um, so amazing players really. And finally, of course, now you're manager of Scarborough Athletic. How have you been finding managerial life so far? Yeah, really. I, I, you know, I've been coaching a long time now. I've been coaching since 2000. 14 when I retired so mm. um, you know I've coached at Nottingham Forest in 21, York City under 18 so I've been coaching in a private academy as well but this is my first manager at JRL role and uh, really enjoying it yeah we're doing alright in the league we're fourth at the moment um, obviously into the final of this cup and um, mm. yeah really enjoying you know uh, being a manager Sure, you must be looking forward to the return to Riverside eh? Yeah really looking forward to it just said to the players there really looking forward to going back there and hopefully putting a performance on and winning the cup Best of luck for the rest of the season. Thank you very much for that. Pleasure, mate. Pleasure.